Hi, welcome to a new session of circuits and networks. In today's transient analysis class 2, we are going to see some numericals based on source free RC circuit. In fact, in our class 1, under source free RC circuit, we have seen the basic concept when the capacitor is charged, uh, it is going to discharge its energy through the element which is connected to it in this fashion. So a charge capacitor is going to show its characteristics in this fashion, which is nothing but it is a decaying in nature. So this was developed in our past class. And also I asked you to solve a problem where you have a capacitor of 0.33 farads is charged to 30 volts and you need to calculate the voltage across 6 ohms and current through 8 ohms. Answers were also given. Uh, the voltage developed was 10 e to the power of minus 0.25 T and current through 8 ohms it is obtained to be minus 2.5 e to the power of minus 0.25 T. So how we got this answer we are going to see. First uh, on the similar approach we are going to see the problem which is having a 0.33 farad capacitor charged to 20 volts. Determine current flowing through 3 ohms. So the direction of the current is also shown here. So we will start with the problem. Uh, this figure when a capacitor is removed from the main circuit uh, by following the nodes A, B, C, D in this fashion, you can easily understand what we are going to do from this approach. Uh, looking through the network terminals B, C, that is through a charge capacitor as shown in the figure, the equivalent resistance is obtained as. This is the way in which we calculate the equivalent resistance because we need to calculate the time constant given by tau is equal to RC. For that R, we need to calculate the equivalent resistance. So you just remove the charged capacitor and wherever you have removed the capacitor through that terminals, try to find out the R equivalent. So R equivalent, you can see 24 is parallel with 8 ohms and that combination is in series with 3 ohms. So this parallel combination will give you the value as 24 into 8 by 24 plus 8 and plus you have 3 ohms in series. So this leads to the value of R equivalent to be 9 ohms. Once we are done with R equivalent, we can easily calculate the time constant tau which is equal to 9 into, you see the capacitor value is given as 0 0.33 farads. So just replacing the value of capacitor, we will get the value of tau is equal to 3 seconds. So once we are done with this, it is easy for us to find out the uh, voltage uh, that is V of T for T greater than 0 means what uh, after the charge capacitor how it is going to decay that equation you can frame with the help of the given voltage and time constant. Now our main intensity is to find out the value of current flowing through 3 ohms. So you can see here this 24 and this 8 will give you the value as 6 ohms fine and I3 will be nothing but equivalent to the voltage at this terminal that is at node A uh, minus the voltage at B by 3. So difference of the voltage divided by the resistance will give you the value of current. We know that the value of voltage uh, which was initially there in the capacitor was 20 volts. So that voltage is nothing but V0 and the same voltage is present over the equivalent circuit which is shown in figure 1a and we need to find out the V of t which will be the value of node voltage Vv. So I hope you understood how we have framed Vp equivalent to V of t. Once that is done it is easy for us to find out the value of current flowing through 3 ohms. So we need to find out what is V and Vb that's what we are going to do now. So V of t is nothing but V naught e to the power of minus t by tau that is RC. Just substituting the values that is V naught is 20 it is given as the initial charge voltage e to the power of minus t just we are calculated with the value of time constant that is 3. In fact this changes to 20 e to the power of minus 0 0.33 t and this stands as the voltage that is the node voltage Vb. Done. Now VA, what is VA? You see these two are in parallel, okay? These two are in parallel and that combination leads to the value as 6 ohms. So you have a voltage, known voltage that is 20 uh, 
that is 20 k to the power of minus 0.33 t and that voltage is nothing but the source over here uh, multiplied with the same branch resistance that is 6 divided by the sum of these two resistors that is 6 plus 3 which will give you the value as 13.33 e to the power of minus 0.33 t this is the voltage of node ba i hope you understood how we have done this see the main catch is that wherever you have the uh, voltage developed across the capacitor that you need to take as the initial voltage and that voltage will be decaying in nature so you need to remember that whatever the voltage you are going to form across the capacitor that we, that will be decreasing in nature that will be decaying in nature not decreasing decaying in nature so that you need to keep in your mind and that voltage is obtained over v of t over here now this is a known voltage as that instinct and we need to know the value of voltage across 6 ohms so with the help of voltage division rule we have obtained the value of va which is equal to 13.33 e to the power of minus 0.33 t now once vb va is obtained it is easy for us to find out the value of current through 3 ohms so i'm just substituting the values of va and vb in fact in both the cases va and vb you can see e to the power of minus 0.33 t is a common so that i have taken outside and these two values divided by 3 will give you the value as minus 2.22 e to the power of minus 0.33 t amps so this is how you solve these kind of problems it's a very important problem this type of approach you can employ for different problems which are asked in previous gate exams and you can easily find out the value of current or the voltage given for a source free rc circuit okay let us go with the previous problem that is the problem which you uh, i gave you as the homework so same approach the capacitor value is same 0.33 farads but it is charged to 30 volts initially fine calculate the value of voltage across 6 ohms and current flowing through 8 ohms okay remember whether you are asked to get the value of voltage across 6 ohms or 12 ohms this will be one and the same because these two are in parallel fine that you keep in your mind anyhow we have framed the terminals a b c d is like this and you can see i can easily obtain the value of r equivalent by removing this charger capacitor the same approach which we have done in the previous problem so here uh, 12 and 6 are in parallel and that is in series with 8 this will give you the value as 12 ohms now time constraint tau is equal to r equivalent c so r equivalent is nothing but 12 multiply with c will give you the value as 3.96 second now this is the value of time constant once we are done with the time constant we can easily calculate the value of current which is flowing through 8 ohms by the previous approach that is nothing but node voltage va minus vb by 8 this you remember yes now remember that the given voltage is 30 30 volts and that is going to get decay so that voltage is present over terminals b and c like this in fact you can form the decay voltage across the terminals b and c under figure 2b like this so v of t is nothing but v naught e to the power of minus t by rc this value is nothing but 30 e to the power of minus 0.25 t and that is nothing but the node voltage vb and the value of voltage across 6 ohms or it is connected parallel to 12 will be nothing but the voltage across 4 ohms so that will be nothing but 10 e to the power of minus 0.25 t now once the node voltages are obtained the voltage across 6 ohms will be equivalent to 10 e to the power of minus 0.25 t this is the first answer what i have already given in you in the previous uh, video another answer is the thing for the calculation of the current through 8 ohms so that can be done with the same approach of va minus vp by 8 so va is you can see 10 and the vp is initial voltage is 30 so 10 minus 30 by 8 and the common terms of va vp is nothing but e to the power of minus 0.25 t that i am taking outside so this will give you the value as minus 2.5 e to the power of minus 0.25 t amperes so i hope you understood this step so this is uh, important problem as i told you 
Now look into another problem which is shown in figure 3. Determine voltage V of T for a T greater than 0. For the network shown in figure 3, also find energy stored by capacitor at T equal to 0. Okay, so look into this figure properly. The switch is opened at T equal to 0. Means what? The switch was closed for long time. So that is the thing you need to keep in your mind. So switch was closed for the long duration of time and it is opened at T equal to 0 second. So this figure 3 changes to figure 3a. Why? Because the charged capacitor acts as open circuit and that is why here you can see in figure 3a the terminals are open. Once the terminals are opened that is understood that this 4 ohms is dummy in nature. So V of 0 minus is nothing but the voltage across 6 ohms. So that can be obtained with the help of formula V of 0 minus is equal to V of 6 ohms that is nothing but V naught. You see the total voltage is 24 okay and you have uh, 6 in series with 8 because this 4 ohm is dummy so 8 and 6 are in series so with the help of voltage division rule I can get the value of V6 ohms or V0 which is equal to 10.2857 volts it's a very important derivation you just keep in your mind that once the capacitor is charged completely it acts as open circuit in fact the capacitor of 0.12 farad is charged to the voltage value and that voltage value are determining as 10.2857 volts done now when the switch is open at t equal to 0 then what is going to happen so the switch is open so this 24 in series with 8 will get disconnected from the circuit and you have figure 3b in fact this can be modified as this figure 3b because the capacitor is also charged so that you need to keep in your mind so this capacitor is charged to the voltage 10.2857 volts why this upper plate on the top and lower plate on the bottom because the voltage which was developed across the capacitor because of 24 volts was flowing from left to right that is in clockwise that is why it is plus and minus and this is how this voltage is framed across the capacitor fine v of t you know that the voltage across the capacitor once uh, charged can be discharged through an equation v naught e to the power of minus t by tau now you can calculate the value of uh, time constant with the help of r equivalent and for the r equivalent you can see 6 and 4 are in series so the value becomes 10 is fine easily okay don't go with this 24 in series with 8 because that is disconnected. After that only we need to calculate the R equivalent. So for this we get the value of R equivalent as 10 ohms. Done. Now once R equivalent is obtained, time constant can be obtained with the help of formula R equivalent C. C is given as 0 0.12 farads. So multiplied with 10 we will get the value as 1.2 second and V of T will be equivalent to 10.2857 e to the power of minus t by 1.2. In fact, this becomes 10.2857 e to the power of minus 0.833 t. The 1 by 2 is equivalent to 0.833. Now, once this is done, I can calculate the value of energy stored in the capacitor with the help of the formula half c v naught square. So v naught square is nothing but that at t equal to 0. So you need to substitute in this formula t equal to 0. So I'm going to get this value 10.2857. That's square terms. So it is squaring over here. Multiplied with c and divided by 2 will give you the value as 6.34 joules. So these type of questions are frequently asked in competitive exams. So this is the main approach to solve this kind of problems. I hope you like this class. Please share among your friends, subscribe to this channel and please press the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you.